I'm not going to do that. But I don't have a problem with this. We're obviously working with the shotgun today, specifically in 12 gauge, the Remington Slugger, one ounce Magnum rifled slug, three inch shells. There's a close up of that and a close up of the rifled Foster slug. So I'm going to use that in a smooth bore. Let's get another look at that. So you got your rifling on there, and guess what? It's hollow. It is not a solid through and through piece of lead. So we might have some interesting things happen with that. I was using the Mossberg 590A1 special purpose. That is a 20 inch barrel. And obviously I would not have shot through my own vehicle, but it would be interesting to see what it would do to a couple of car doors. Although I don't think this particular slug would pass through both sides. And here's the reason why. On those jugs, that was from 20 feet, just water jugs, one gallon jugs. It only penetrated the first three. That is it. Here's what happened. This broke apart in two pieces. In fact, the smallest of those was lying on the ground just in front of the target. And the widest point diameter is over an inch and a half. This has a muzzle velocity of over 1,700 feet per second. Let's try it in something else. We have a block of the SimTest Media calibrated to match ballistic gel specs. It is 20 inches in length weighs approximately 50 pounds. We're going to tag this from 20 feet. I have some water jug back up and trees if necessary. I don't think either of those are going to be needed. Based on what we saw in the water, this offers much tougher resistance, anticipating some fragmentation as we had earlier. And I think worst case scenario is possibly a fragment uh, exiting the side of the block. I'm also gonna put a drop cloth on the ground just in case this goes vertical and jumps off the table. Most impressive. Oh, good grief. Good grief. What a mess. Looks like it hit low. Very low. I was aiming right for the center. How about that? All right, let's take it apart, see what we can find. Due to the wind conditions, I had to bring this into the garage. I've already found a section of the slug. This was underneath the target platform. That weighs approximately one quarter of an ounce, so we are on our way. There's another perspective of that. This is the entry point. This section fell off during transit down here to the garage, which is about 60, 70 yards. This is the entry point. So technically, I was in the block, just very, very low. And by the way, that was delivering roughly 2,800 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, given that weight and velocity. So there's a close-up of the damage path, and this is the first five to six inches. To give you a perspective, this is what caused that, or contributed to it. There's the hull from that shot, to give you some perspective. And let me give you another one. Okay, several minutes have passed. I've figured out what's happened here. This is the point of entry. And I shouldn't have to remind you this is the bottom of the block. Here is the path moving this direction, and thank goodness it curved upward. At about this point, eight to eight and a half inches, it exploded into multiple fragments, and I had to cut some bacon slices to find those. This is the segment that I found on the ground. I think it impacted right here and dropped out. Here's the next segment. This traveled nine and a half inches, and the largest segment traveled 12 and a half inches. Imagine that, the heavier the segment, deeper the penetration. Maximum diameter is nearly 1.4 inches. Combined weight of the fragments is 0.979 ounces. I might find some additional fragments during the melting process. What more can you say about these things? They are freaking awesome. I know some folks use them for target practice. 
that many might use it for hunting. So you're definitely going to have some massive trauma, blood loss, bone crushing, raw energy in these things. And you're certainly aware of that. For home defense, I'm not a big proponent of these. I would much rather use a large buckshot, unless of course you have bears and other large critters roaming your yard and within your house. That's not a good thing. So hopefully this was educational, maybe even a little bit fun. Thanks for watching.